is this beautifully mesmerizing or what? What a fantastic design. Just stunning. Absolutely mind-blowing design. Print in place. Just gorgeous. I love it. Hey, let's see what my new Focus Odin 5 printed last night while I was asleep. This is a Valentine's Day twist box. And I hope it works. <laughs> it's my first time printing it. And I printed this with one of my favorite filaments, Arion Steampunk Rainbow. It's really hard to find. Hopefully they keep restocking it. That grenade back there is also the same filament. And so is that caterpillar. I just love it. And let's see. Kind of mark my phone, pop this thing up, free it all up, and see if it works. This took about 10 hours at 0.16 layer height and 60 mms print speed. Just gonna try and pop it off. Very nice adhesion. They're just very minor wisping, so which is okay. It can happen on a print like this. So we're gonna follow the instructions per the designer. This is the trim, uh, not the trim. It's the trim and tab version. So yeah, they have these tabs over here to kind of better support the petals. So we're gonna have to trim these tabs over here. Just gonna show you with the hobby knife like this on both sides on all the petals so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna trim these tabs as well right here which are holding those gears together right there on either side on all the gears we're gonna remove these cut these off and kind of try to smooth them out so the gears are moving freely and we're gonna have to kind of break this collar off of the base as well using a screwdriver. Okay, so post processing on this design, even though it printed beautifully, was a little harder than I thought. Uh, once again, I printed the model. The STL comes with three different uh, options. I printed the one which had tabs at the bottom to support the pedals better, pedals better and around these gears. Uh, for I guess better printability I just figured I'll just give that one a shot first however those tabs are really thick and the clearances are really tight so what I ended up doing was well and first of all be careful this is very delicate when you're trying to do any of that work don't put a lot of pressure on the pedals you're gonna end up breaking one because I did and I just glued it back on uh, it's not even you can't even, can't even notice it anymore and I also broke one of these hinges at the base when I was trying to do it with the filament clippers don't use the filament clippers to break free the tabs it's not gonna work you're gonna end up breaking it that also I had to, uh, to super glue and anyway so what I ended up doing was hot knifing so I took the hobby knife uh, exacto hobby knife all right and I heated up the tip of it not the whole blade just the tip and then I hot knifed the tips uh, gently so I'm just gonna get it back in the position first where they were if you can see it so I just hot knife them like this very gently just enough to, to kind of create that clearance between the tabs on all sides. And I did the same thing, uh, hot knifing, and I was hot, heating up the knife before every single clip. So heated it up and got it as close to, let me just try and show you as best as possible. I got it as close to the gears, the wall as possible and sliced it and like that. And sliced it and like, like that just like that just heat the knife and slice it right there by the gears wall right 
and just do it for all of those gears on all sides. And then after that, once we have done that, we got to free up this, this collar here, this collar, which is, which is what, which is the gear, which has the threads around the gears. So in order to free up that collar, uh, what I ended up doing was I took one of these putty knives uh, that come with their printer and I'm sorry, I just have a bad angle here sitting with the camera. So very carefully, I just held it nice and you know strongly in my hand. I placed the corner of it in between this gap right here of the base and the collar and held it down firmly and just went in as much as possible and peeled it up a little bit gently. And then I just went around little by little like that all around all around multiple times multiple multiple times until I heard some cracking which is the collar peeling off of the base but you just keep going around like this and lifting the collar up from the base I can probably try and show you how so you see that clearance that you create you just keep going around like that and you're just gonna have to create that clearance between the base and the collar, like this, like this, okay. And eventually it's gonna free up and you're gonna have to keep wiggling it. It's gonna be really tight uh, in the beginning. So once you can feel that the collar is kind of moving, it's wiggly, that means it's already almost freed up. Now you gotta kind of lubricate the gears and the threads inside so you can actually free this whole thing up and it can start moving okay and that was also a little tricky but there are a couple of techniques to make your life easier which I did not use um, you could throw in a drop of oil on the gears or the thread inside very carefully using a dropper that can help lube it a little bit uh, you can actually set this out in uh, in the Sun for about an hour or so that actually helps kind of soften up the PLA a little bit and it helps you free up the gears easily. What I ended up doing is, which you will end up doing that anyway, is to hold the collar with one hand and the base with the other hand and not put too much pressure on the collar but hold the base really really strongly and just go like this little by little not not too much but just little by little like this until it's loose and then move on to the next point where it's gonna hesitate then I'm gonna keep going keep giving it that friction the heat to soften it up and then so on and so forth you just keep going all the way all the way so this is the beginning of it you see it's still a little tight so you keep going like that my hands hurt after that afterwards it was quite <laughs> quite an effort so you keep doing like that little by little little by little and you keep progressing and making your way through the through the threads until eventually you'll be able to open it all the way up and close all the way down very easily and I'll just show you at the bottom. You can see the pedals move like that. Right, you can see the movements. That's how, if you see anything obstructing this movement, you can just clip off these buggers because uh, these are from the tabs. But it should really flow freely like this. It's a very delicate piece, uh, but it's just absolutely stunning. And despite the couple of accidents, I am really, really happy the way my first attempt came out to be. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this video helps you, uh, you know, be able to print this, this wonderful and beautiful model better. And I'm gonna try print a couple of these other ones as well, eventually uh, the one without the tabs as well and see how that works. But. For now, this is it. Happy 3D printing. Cheers.